Um, so a question from me. Um, one of the things that hasn't come up yet is the relationship between the JCR and the MCR. Um, now, um, one of your first duties, if you're elected, will be to go on the Amal Club, and inevitably at that, there will be debate between the JCR and the MCR, and you know, there may well be some conflict between the bodies. Now, how will you manage that conflict in that situation with the need to create a good relationship uh, between the parties who are working together on the issue of conflict? Yeah, well, it's, it's a similar approach to working with the province itself. I've met the MCR president previously at a food committee thing. He seems a reasonable guy. I think I can get on with him. Obviously, we both know we're going to have differences, but I think we can work through that and still have a positive working relationship. Um, are there any questions from the audience for Ben? Okay, a couple of variety. Uh, you Hannah. mentioned that there are part of the Constitution you don't like. What exactly is wrong in there? Yeah, so um, Article 2, uh, <laughs> <laughs> two, 2A, I'm sure you know it well. Uh, that says that uh, you can't be both a member of the MCR and the JCR. That creates problems for anyone who's a NAPSCI, an engineer, or an MML student. So it doesn't seem ideal like that could do without being rewritten. Uh, other issues as regards things like the returning officer, it doesn't state clearly enough how that's selected and if the vice president doesn't want to be the returning officer. <coughs> We're very strict on the number of committee members, so it has to be 13. Whereas to me it makes sense that we should have a range like say 10 to 14. Uh, and then, as Pete pointed out in the meeting on restructuring, the treasurer's rule and the vice president's rule of, well, I'm sure you don't mind me saying, um, of Pete's opinion was that there didn't need to be two separate That's rules. No. Well, just fix it. Yeah. Um, I can take another question to Ben if someone has <coughs> In which case, thank you very much, Ben. Uh, we'll move on to the next question.